my name is Jessica Eastland, and I'm honored to be speaking as a child of someone who is battling ALS. My dad, Doug McNeil, was diagnosed in the summer of 2017. Before ALS, my dad was an extreme go-getter. Anything he put his mind to, he did, whether that was work-related or family-related or related to his nonprofit, Lighting for Literacy. He was there, and he was all there, all the time. And though being di diagnosed with ALS did slow him down a little bit, and he needed to make some changes physically to what he could commit to, his spirit and his mindset has continued to be as involved as ever. And despite being physically limited, he still runs his nonprofit, Lighting for Literacy, thanks to Toby. And he still is involved in communicating with people on Facebook and talking with friends via email. I get the occasional fun text message to my phone. There's different ways where he's still building community with others, even though he physically is, is limited. Um, and he has a, a service above self mindset that comes from his deep roots in Rotary. And despite having ALS, he continues to show that even without movement, you can continue to serve above self in many other ways. And something he says frequently is that you can still build community when all you have is a smile. And he is living proof of that. Over these last three years, we have needed to learn a lot about the disease, but also about grief, patience, and hope during some of the hardest days of our lives. The beginning of our family journey with ALS was confusing and the decision-making process was definitely unclear. By April of 2018, and after a month and a half long stay in the hospital for my dad, I needed some sort of purpose in all of this to help keep myself positive and I really wanted to bring those same elements to my family. And that's when I found the Walk to Defeat ALS and was overjoyed to find out that there's um, a local chapter and a local walk for us to get involved in. That first year's walk brought us so much joy and so much purpose, exactly what I was looking for. And we've been participants as Team Maverick ever since, so the last three years. My dad told us not long after the first walk and ever since, and I'm gonna read a quote from him, it has been my goal since diagnosis to do all I can to help others with this disease, to spread awareness of the devastation it causes, to help find a cure, and to never let it stop me from serving above self despite my limitations. What we gained from joining this event didn't stop there. We were welcomed with open arms by so many people. To this day, Asher Garfinkel, Jenna Lancy, and Kim Lembo check in on us, always ready with encouragement, connections, and support. Every time we see Megan Fisher at a local event, we are greeted with a warm smile and a hug. And our local care managers are at the ready to provide support, not just to those with ALS, but their families as well. A big thank you to our care managers, Julie Skurick, Shannon Sonicson, and Kim Venezia, who supported my family in our journey. From big things like helping coordinate home health needs to answering all of our questions in between and along the way, they have been there for us. In challenging times, we have found connections that have grown into friends who feel like family, and that's irreplaceable. Please consider showing your continued support um, for those who are living with ALS today and those who are going to be diagnosed tomorrow. Mm -hmm.